Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on April 4th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Happy Easter to all of my friends and family from around the world who are celebrating. And welcome to the Volcano Activity Report for week 14, as we are looking at an active and erupting 41 volcanoes and 37 showing unrest. So all the yellow are the unrest, orange and red are active and or erupting. Just looking at the stressed regions across the planet as of late, as well as seeing still an increase in the sulfur emissions around the planet. A couple new volcanoes to talk about, nothing major though. But to see a large volcano like the Cleveland volcano showing unrest, have to really wonder what's up in the Aleutian Islands. So let's start out here in Iceland, where we have the active and still erupting, filling up the valley, Fagradasvalli, Fagradasvalli volcano that is active. As well, Etna and Stromboli have been throwing magma very active throughout Etna. Spectacular displays, actually. Down into Egypt, where we have the Urta Ale, active shield volcano. And then into Africa, where we have the two active Niragongo and as well near Mirigira. As well, we have the active and showing some activity. Piton de la Fornes. Piton de la Fornes. And that's just off the east coast of Madagascar. Look at all the activity recently. Those red rings are earthquakes as of late. Cinnabung Volcano. As well, Carinchy. Active Merapi, one of my favorite. And Semeru, Arung. And as well, Luatolo. Up into the Philippines here with the Dokono Volcano and as well, Ibu. And active Tao Volcano. Moving up into Japan. Ongoing eruptions at Suishinajima and as well Sakurajima. Up into Kamchatka, Ebiko Volcano, Karamiski, and as well Shevelich. Kluchevskoy has since quieted down but still showing signs of unrest. As well, Semiznapoichnoy Volcano. and Venomyanov in Alaska. And then in between that, we do have the Cleveland volcano showing signs of unrest. And that whole region could quite possibly a super volcanic region. I've been watching that for about six months, eight months, just really investigating. Overlooking Hawaii, of course, Kilauea, and Mauna Loa showing signs of unrest since March 18th. Or sorry, March 28th. Over into Mexico with the ongoing and ever so active Popo. Down into Guatemala here, where you have the line of Santiaguito, Fuego, and Pacaya. Pacaya has been filling up valleys and evacuating people around it. San Cristobal, as well, Messiah. 
and Recon de la Veja still showing signs of unrest that was active a week ago. And then this whole region here around Soufrades, St. Vincent, and Grenadines, Kikum Jenny showing signs of unrest, Pele showing signs of unrest, Pele, that whole region, subduction zone, very active. It's a bit concerning. Nevada's de Rules, active. And then look at all these in between, showing signs of unrest in between Reventador. And as well, Sangay is alive. Active Sabin Kaya and erupting down into Chile, Nevada to Chilean, and as well, Villarica showing signs of unrest now. And the mighty Erubus. Up into Fiji and New Caledonia here with Yasser Volcano. And showing signs of unrest, Lopovi, Lop Lopevi. As well, Bagana. Awakened in December. and cadaver so yes that we are reporting 41 active and erupting volcanoes so that's two up from week 13 and i'm going to start showing all of these volcanoes the ones showing unrest as well also included in this volcano activity report is a look at the sulfur emissions and you can all look at this site here brought to you by null school showing the sulfur emissions around the planet and forecasted, but I'm just showing the present time sulfur emissions. And you can see the east coast of Canada and the United States inundated by sulfur emissions right now. Very high contents as well, high contents, coastal regions, mountainous regions, South America. Overlooking Africa. Not too much, but then you look over Europe, and Southeast Asia, just the sulfur soup, really, when we're looking at the maps compared to everywhere else on the planet. Active Indonesia through Malaysia as well. And then look at Australia. Very dry and hot continent. But this is a bit concerning with uh, everything recently. The volcanic activity across the northern hemisphere, the increased sulfur emissions. Even windy.com showing sulfur emissions map increasing over the next five days. This is brought to you by Windy TY. You can look at this on the internet as well. The site is readily and easily available to everybody. But look at that mass plume coming out of Guatemala from that line of volcanoes. And it's spreading east and west. And then the large plume coming out of Kilauea. And I'm sure it's not just Kilauea. And then you look north into Alaska, where I reported these large plumes, sulfur emissions, high ash and dust content, coming out of Alaska. So poof, that's going to be coming into the coastline over the next couple days for BC and Alaska. And then overlooking Southeast Asia and Europe. Very high content sulfur emissions. Everybody just stay aware and prepared because you know mainstream media ain't talking about this. Much love to you all. And I'm really happy that you have joined the family. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully you've hit the bell so that you can receive every update. And check out the little hashtag willow in the description of this video. Good way to link up with all of the do links. 
Morning Dew is here for you. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. We'll see you next week for the Volcanic Activity Report, week 15. Bye-bye.